We've had him almost a year now. He is four years old, German Shepherd. Uh, one of our staff, uh, her name is Julie Collins, she's our evidence technician, and she has a background in, in, uh, with canines and canine training. And uh, so this is a kennel that she's used before out of South Carolina that contacted her, said they have a trained, uh, somewhat trained uh, police canine that they would like to uh, sell. And uh, so we went through the process and got approval from the mayor and council to purchase the, the dog. And uh, so Officer Page has been training with them since we got them. And uh, he has been through the uh, certification process to get him uh, certified as a, as a narcotics canine. So Blue is a, a canine sniffing um, narcotics dog. So he's, he's with Officer Page all the time they, uh, on traffic stops. He may use them on traffic stop to detect the odor of uh, illegal narcotics in the vehicle. Uh, he's also used for tracking. And uh, so uh, the big plus for me is, is Blue is not a uh, bot trained dog. And so uh, when it comes to tracking, if we have, because we have two schools here, elementary school and middle school, if a student were to get out and uh, they need assistance with tracking him, uh, then Blue can track a student and not have to worry about biting a student. And uh, so that's a big plus for me. He's a just an all around great dog and students and, and kids and adults alike uh, love dogs, you know, most, most people. And so, uh, He's a very friendly dog, and so, um, but he's also, he knows when it's time to work, and, uh, but he's also that docile kind of dog that, that people can pet him and, and, you know, not have to worry about uh, getting bit. Now, he, he will protect his handler, and so if uh, he feels like his handler is in any kind of danger, he will, he will do what he has to do to protect his handler. So, uh, we were contacted by a nonprofit organization uh, that, specializes in vests for canines, uh, police canines. And so uh, Greg Free, uh, who owns a uh, funeral home in Cartersville, uh, is our sponsor that is paying for the vest. And, uh, and so uh, he, he paid for the vest to have it to, donated to, uh, to Blue to wear on duty. And it protects him from uh, bullets and, and stab wounds, just like a police officers wear a vest for. Well, it's uh, just, it's been a huge bonus for us to have Blue as part of our family. Uh, like I said, he's an extremely friendly dog. Uh, he just cheers people up anytime you have a dog around, but, uh, but also he is a, uh, a great uh, at working and doing what he does and uh, just a great asset to our department and getting narcotics off the street. Um, if, if you follow our Facebook page, we have uh, several posts about uh, Blue finding narcotics in vehicles and, and uh, find large amounts of cash uh, associated with narcotics and so uh, that's what we're trying to crack down and, and keep that out of our community.